All right, hello, hello, Cancer. Welcome to your shadow work reading. I know, don't be triggered, don't be too alarmed, I know, but all, you know, you're only here because you're willing to stand the truth, right? If you're here, awesome, congratulations. You have leaped that uh, fear, uh, toxic, addiction, karmic, whatever, not letting it stop you and going above, okay? So I'm here to guide you in that way, especially if you've been doing the work during this full moon in Scorpio that just passed and also we're going through Mercury retrograde. So bear with me if a little things are a little winky winky, <laughs> okay? Some communication or things, you know, I've been doing, you know, cleansing the energies and doing the shadow work myself, okay? So, you know, getting ready for this specific moment in time okay again this is a timeless reading if take what resonates if it doesn't there's other cancer uh readings that i've done for this month as well by the time i'm filming this is in may okay so let's keep the high vibes right because that's all we want we want angels and ancestors and beautiful amazing energy to keep us in the highest white light so they were able to take our little light and go into our shadow and then come back again, okay? But we're gonna do it together. We're gonna help you out with this, okay? You're not alone, all right? Mm. All right, so cancel. We're gonna make it, try to make it short and sweet today, but whatever spirit wants us to see and let you know, that's what we're gonna do, okay? All right, Angus, please let us know what cancer needs to know about Cancer the Collective. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing and liking and commenting. If you've already been here, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here, okay? Thank you so much, sisters. I welcome you to stay as there's more videos coming here. Yeah, definitely I'm seeing rest and rejuvenation. Definitely seeing that. Let's, let's dive right in. All right, angels and my sisters, please let us know. All right, so we have a thinking woman in reverse. We have a man holding the heart and the thinking man and a broken heart. Okay. Some patience. Yeah, fourth chakra. Okay, so your energy right now, definitely you're you're going through it, okay? You're going through some heartbreak. Um, could be someone, a thinking woman, someone very mature, uh, could be younger than you, uh, or older, not necessarily, but someone who's, who does things without thinking, okay? Someone who, you know, and I feel like you're, again, there's no energy, uh, there's no gender in tarot, but at least in this energy, we feel that, there is very specific, right? We have a uh, thinking woman in reverse, right? And then we have somebody who is holding the heart and it's a thinking man. So someone who upright is doing the right thing, right? Someone, and it could be, again, it could be a divine masculine or a divine feminine, but definitely feels like a divine masculine here. This could be also within yourself if you are feminine, okay? That it feels like your masculine is very balanced. You hold a lot of love for uh, for yourself, for a lot of people and stuff like that. But you definitely were dealing with someone who had a distorted divine feminine, okay? And perhaps um, definitely we're dealing with a heartbreak. I'm feeling very nervous and anxious, which is something that I've been working on, and you know doing my meditations and stuff like that. So I know it's not my energy, okay? So this is the energy that I'm picking up, all right? What I'm feeling right now is that you must stay grounded, especially during this time, especially if you're going through some heartbreak or someone trying to cause heartbreak. I feel like that you do have someone, uh, divine energies, uh, distorted feminines. Could be feminines, it could be a family member, it could be an ex, it could be, um, an ex-friend or something like that, someone who is very impatient, who want things done their way, okay? I'm hearing, done, done my way, you know? 
and they don't really understand they don't really want to see your perspective they all they care is whatever they feel that is right right whatever and i feel like this is a person who thinks that they're always right right and you're kind of getting tired of that because you're somebody very um you think about things you're very precise you're someone who thinks before they think you know you're very loving and compassionate and i feel like this person is taking your weakness for granted okay um I'm also seeing that you have a man holding, there's two energies here. There's a man holding the heart and there's a woman holding the heart. There's two card to parts here that are outside of this thinking woman, okay? And this is the energy where spirit is trying to let you know. This is the energy that you want to be around, okay? So whatever femininity or toxic negativity, someone who's not healed, someone who's very uh, not patient with you or even with themselves, it's time to remove that energy. Whatever whatever way that you could do it, it will actually help you. Make sure, I'm hearing, your peace is more valuable than that actual person in your life, okay? And I feel like there's some love going that you want to resurface or there's some love that you want to protect, that you want to take care of, that you want to focus on, right? Which is why with the fourth chakra here with Raphael, it's helping you heal this chakra, this heart chakra, this heartbreak. And I feel like this is someone who always gives you heartbreaks you know and and they don't want to see you happy even though they know that you are completely happy with this person whoever is holding their heart you know that there's someone who holds your heart and then there's somebody else that you hold someone's heart as well and you want to be um i feel like you're trying to uh make that person happy like i feel like you don't want any conflict right you don't want any drama and i feel like that's what you're trying to do bring the peace with this person but also you're trying to be there for this other person but this person doesn't like your person who holds your heart who helps you heal your heart who helps you deal with difficult situations right now what i'm feeling is that they're not going to be victorious okay victory here with the appreciation card here is that you're gonna be grateful that whatever intentions or whatever they're trying to do to block your love life i feel like also your finances your healing your energy they're not going to be successful and spirit is going to reward you with personal healing and happiness okay and they appreciate this work that you're doing also they appreciate you even more when you love yourself and appreciate yourself and walk away from this karmic energy this person is going through divine judgment right now and as I said in my channels, if you look at my channel, if you're new here, um, I explained this already that if you're around someone who's going through divine judgment, someone who, who's going through their karma right now, you're getting it too if you're not. Because that person was there just to teach you a lesson. And once that lesson is learned, once that karmic lesson is learned, it's time to move on, okay? I'm hearing also try not to and uh, once you block this person or you walk away from this person if you're watching tower readings and right away you feel it in your spirit that is talking about that person close that reading whoever you're reading okay because that also prevents you from moving on from that person is that person trying to pull your energy through tower readings okay because tower readings uh, believe it or not can be very truthful right very triggering right and it's going to let you know about the energy of that person and especially if you're still attached to this person it's gonna show up in a reading okay so i'm hearing that like make sure you're not looking at uh, any of those um any reading like that okay uh right now i'm hearing your spirit guys are very very grateful that you're choosing your spiritual path, that you're choosing your love life, that you're choosing to better yourself, that you're taking your power back from whatever toxic feminine energy that has been in the past, from this heartbreak, someone who was not patient with you, someone who prevents you from being with your true divine uh, person, okay? I'm seeing someone here that it could be in a, that divine uh, masculine energy where, yeah. Yeah, wow, beautiful yeah basically the more you work on yourself right well the more you invest yourself not only your spirit guys are appreciating you right and and that too is like you're 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 healing not only yourself but your lineage right your ancestral lineage right especially when you're like learning a lot of lessons that you didn't learn in your past life right your um third eye is lit right now okay so make sure that you're protecting yourself make sure that you're protecting but either way i feel like the archangel metatron 
and you have Raphael, which are very, very big archangels that are really protecting your connection, your finances, your love life, could be your family as well. So anybody who try to bring you heartbreak or stuff like that, they're cursing themselves. Okay, so you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, your storm is rooming, but it's in reverse. Yeah, they're trying to attack you because you're an earth angel. But at the end of the day, yes, you're very balanced. Your yin yang is uh, beautiful. The more healing you do, the more you invest in this love, this love. I feel like you, I see you um, meditating, doing yoga, praying for your person. Uh, if you haven't met them yet, you're literally, or if you're with your person, you know, any people that are trying to deceive you and stuff like that, it's in reverse. It's it's not gonna work, okay? With the victory here and the deceit and everything and your yin yang is lit, the more you work on yourself, the more, um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the more you meditate, perhaps maybe meditating 20 minutes a day, it really protects your aura, it protects your energy, okay? All right, so that's your energy. Wow, intense energy, Cancer. Intense energy. Intense. All right. So I'm being guided to take... your water baby <laughs> let's do the mermaid tower okay wow i see hope oh look at you beautiful hope the star and the high priestess ah oh, amazing you see the thing is that that they don't know that every time they try to bound you or do something like that it's like they're cursing themselves because you're a star you're a star see you're a high priestess you're somebody very intuitive you hold your guns, you know, you don't tell people your your secrets or anything like that. And that's beautiful. I saw the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, these people were very greedy, very ungrateful. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like they don't want you to be single or something like that. They don't want you to succeed. They're, they're very selfish. Yeah, the World Card in reverse. They don't want you to end a cycle with them. Yeah, this is selfish energy. Yeah, the Nine of Swords in reverse, all this drama and everything, conflict has been... Yeah, the Nine of Swords in reverse, it talks about... Yeah, they're liars. They're spreading lies and rumors about you. Yeah, because you're no longer around them. Yeah, you're the Queen of Cups. Wow, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Cancer, I have... Uh, amazing news for you <laughs> first of all you're in the queen of cups energy okay you're somebody very empathetic very sensitive very highly intuitive as we saw you're the high priestess and the star seed you're somebody who people think that because you're kind and very compassionate and very empathetic that they can fool you no that's actually the opposite you already know whenever things happened and you know how to protect your energy you know how to you know who you're invest your time in place and i feel like a lot of people get mad at that that you have boundaries that you protect yourself that you're not really exchanging your energy with anybody that you are very protected from your energy and also you know that there's competition conflict this is the five of wands there's drama there's things that people it's like you don't really you know it's like when people before they even come to you you already can read a person and that's a beautiful gift okay keep protecting your energy this is something that you must uh, continue nurturing in especially during this time okay so i'm hearing that again balance there's going to be justice here especially if you were dealing with a low vibrational libra uh perhaps uh, another water sign cancer scorpio pisces uh could be a fire sign leo sagittarius and aries could be an earth sign as well virgo taurus capricorn all the signs are here for you my friend the airy uh libra gemini yes you're definitely is somebody who you can trust though i'm hearing it's either a very real tourist or capricorn okay there's someone is going to someone loyal someone that you could trust okay um i feel like right now with the page of cups in reverse it's like before in the past they weren't listening to the intuition or something is being blocked in their communication right now and i feel like they're realizing this okay but don't be afraid they're gonna realize because they're 
they're like you they're very earth connection they're connected we're very grounded i feel and then you're very like psychic right but there's some gifts or things that they have that you lack and then whatever he, this person lacks you have it so it's like a beautiful yin and yang that's what we saw that energy the yin and yang okay you're definitely gonna battle some competition drama and conflict it's normal but then again uh, i feel like the divine is bringing justice to both of you and this energy right now and this is i feel like as soon as that person uh deals with whatever situation that they're dealing because it could be very similar to you there's going to be a lot of collaboration the three of pentacles okay there's going to be a reunion there's going to be reconciliation there's going to be celebration there's going to be a lot of things and yes this person is going to be very protective of you um again four of pentacles talks about balance talks about again justice balance and balance there's gonna be a lot of balance and stability in this relationship or it could be a job a new job it could be um a new environment if you're moving you know yeah this is the nine of wands because yeah you're in the queen of swords energy absolutely yeah there's communication that is coming in like really sh like somebody very passionate towards you but also they're embracing this queen of swords energy right they they're first they're going to be guarded and they're not going to tell you everything right away which you appreciate that i know that you do because you are in the queen of cups energy and they are in the king of pentacles someone very loyal that has a lot of integrity they don't trust everybody with their vulnerability so at first they're not gonna be so vulnerable with you first because they want to test the water they want to see if they can trust you okay again the, you both are very uh discerning which is so important you really both of you have learned the lessons okay so it's, i see a beautiful communication oh thank you spirit yes the lover's card yeah this is a beautiful connection very passionate as well this is someone who has a big phallus um <clears throat> sorry but it is true i see it okay <laughs> I mean, I don't actually see it, but I, nah, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it's very lovely. Uh, I feel like also the lover talks about choices. Uh, you definitely, they could have many options, uh, but I feel like this person has manifest you, okay? They manifest someone like you. Um, Again, you both are heavily manifestors. Again, there you go, counterparts, Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Uh, very understanding, very psychic as well, but they hide it very well, okay? So they could be like you, you're really hiding all that um, emotionally. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles is like they're, they're, yeah, I feel like there's like that laugh mentality. Uh, yeah, they're letting that go. And I feel like this is something that you has helped them as well, you know, by they looking at you and seeing uh, how you move through through life or how do you uh, overcome certain difficult situations, you know what I'm saying? How do you be able to defend yourself, okay? But yeah, with the Ace of Wands, I see communication coming in the next few weeks. Uh, could be weeks, could be a couple, you know, could be now, hey, timeless. But I definitely see someone communicating and I feel like you're going to at first be a little hesitant. Yeah, I see the movement here. That's you, Cancer, with a chariot in reverse movement in the Ten of Cups. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Completion in the movement. Usually the Ten of Cups talks about ultimate fulfillment, which is why I'm not sure why it's in reverse. But it could be you that are going to or them or someone trying to block this connection this movement yeah somebody doesn't want you guys to have this connection right but they're yeah yeah it's it's a twin flame connection okay the four of wands with the star here you guys are star seed they're gonna it's gonna reverse okay it's gonna it's gonna backfire on them yeah it's gonna backfire okay so don't worry it's gonna be fine as i'm always saying it's gonna backfire you're in this queen of wands energy too you're somebody very beautiful very creative very passionate you you're a warrior you're someone who cares about your community your your people and stuff like that so that's very beautiful all right let's see what the moon wants to let you know yeah your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn okay the answers you need are coming it's full moon in Gemini. I feel like we're in the Gemini season right now. So that could be significant for some of you. Step, step out of your comfort zone, okay? That's for some of you. 
Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely seeing that that whatever answers or think this could be your confirmation that you know. But I feel like you're very intuitive. You already know this. This is just a confirmation for you. <laughs> All right. What's your surrender? Surrender your desire to control people. Mm -hmm. Bring over over controlling. Being over controlling can sabotage relationship. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay. Surrender low self-esteem. Absolutely. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnant of love self-esteem. Okay? All right, Spirit. What else? Surrender to play. Yes. Make sure you're playing. You're having fun and enjoying. You're hard, you work really hard, okay? So make sure you're having some fun, okay? Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what the soul journey. Uh, sacred travel or of cards. They're telling me to take one and then to read you one of the, okay. All right, so it says begin now, take your first step, yeah. So there's something that you wanna start right now or that you already started or something that you wanna do. Let me see if there's something begin now. Hmm. Take your first step. Car meaning. Every journey starts with the first step. There is no moment better than the present one to begin. You might not feel ready, but nevertheless, it's now time to start. A new cycle is beginning. Wipe the slate clean and get going. Release familiar routines, stack in a situation or challenging relationships that no longer support you or empower you. You are at the end of an old cycle and beginning a new one, an exciting one. Set your sails for a new horizon. Yes. All right, so they're telling me one card for this one. All right, Cancer, that's beautiful. And that's what you see when, I, when I'm telling you this, I feel it in your energy. You're feeling your anxiety going down a little bit. Mm, look at that. Can you think of good? Yes, envy. Definitely dealing with envious energy, but let's see what I say. And what is the bottom of the deck? Perseverance, yeah. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah, you have a lot of envious and jealous energy while you're doing this, and not only for you, but the person that is coming towards you, okay? So embrace yourself. You know, this is part of the, unfortunately, you know, the journey. But let's see. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. You must learn to accept that the obstacles in your life have been chosen by you. To be jealous of the soul path of another is to doubt your ability to judge what is best for you. It is human nature to covet the perceived luxuries of someone on a different journey. But to try to em emulate him or her is not being true to your own guidance. You have chosen this life and the circumstances for a reason. By disregarding that and following in the footsteps of another, you're only setting yourself up for confusion and disappointment. You never truly know what is going on in another person's life and what personal challenges he or she may face. So, be, so to be envious is a fool's game. Be authentic to your inner voice because only you know what is in your best interest. If you don't follow your own path, you will have the to you will have to reincarnate in an attempt to learn your original lesson again. Okay? I'm also feeling that this envy, you know, it's part of it. We all have this, you know, but it is a very low negative vibration. So it's if this is you or somebody who's around you, make sure you listen to your intuition to who is have this energy. And if this is you, this is something you gotta work on, okay? Remember, um, it's a low vibration and it blocks your blessings when you have this energy, okay? And also, if you have that energy around you, that's why this sermon is important. All right. Absorber in reverse. They're telling me to time for a nap. Oof, gotta take some time for yourself. You need to take some nappy time, okay? But let me see what the wisdom of the oracle they want me to read for you. 49 could be significant. All right, 49, the absorber. Okay, when I see it in reverse, it's like, 
it's like you're not looking at the perspective of another person or you're not looking things at a perspective of a higher perspective okay so now you've been guided during this time that yes we all go through things yes but make sure that you're the envy in this make sure you're not judging people make sure that you're you're tapping into yourself and you're constantly you know holding yourself accountable and things like that you know and take actions that come from a, a, a heart that is not full of hate or envy or jealous or hatred okay it's not good to have rage or any of that stuff you know make sure that you're checking in with yourself um, especially if you are a title reader or a psychic reader and stuff like that remember that whatever you're feeling especially if you're an empath it shows in your readings okay and that's something that i even sometimes i myself have to catch myself like wait am i you know before i come here right because you have to take responsibility that also you know you could be projecting that energy to other people without intention but without intentionally wanting to right unconsciously doing that okay so it's it's a it's a healing process to be conscious you're conscious creative you have to take accountability and responsibility for yourself okay so I don't know, that's a message that for someone here. Essential meaning, perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. The oracle message, much people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences, so much so that they can come to believe that these are the only reality. There are times when you need to distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life this is a perfect moment for you to begin to do something, some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, considering what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you are engaged with now, you'll be happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find it. In relationships, sometimes you just can't just that. Nah. Sometimes, again, Mercury retrograde right there. <laughs> sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumped up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience buttered over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the, the other person has no idea how his or her word has affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself and in others and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. Prosperity message. It is an advantageous, uh, it is an advantageous time for you to get some distance from what you're doing and see your work and your projects from a different perspective. The trick is to connect to the essence of your goal and aspiration while letting the form and timing be dictated by spirit. You may be too personally attached to an outcome and unable to see the miracle because it's not turning out exactly as you planned. Trust spirit. The perfect version of your abundant is right in front of you. Remain neutral and curious and watch the miracle unfold. Protection message. Everything, everything sometimes your life options are suction cupped to your face and you can't see beyond yourself. There's a big world out there, a multiple multitude of potential realities that you are unable to perceive at present so you are a little stuck it's time to get advice from someone you trust someone who has a better perspective on your circumstances other points of view are needed now before you move forward take heart a beautiful vista is waiting for you to drink in it you just need a little help winding your scope beyond your small self okay all right, Cancer, I think that's what I have for you. Yeah, I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments. I'm sending you so much love. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next reading. Hopefully this helped you uh, and give you some insights and guidance and direct you in the right path, okay? And remember, if it triggers you, it's something that it needs a little bit more healing and a little bit more shadow work and inner work, okay? I'm sending you so much love. Good luck with everything. Bye. <laughs>